There's so many extraordinary things that are happening right now that people don't really give them enough thought and consideration. Because Muslims are people that read signs. We're people that read signs. Our book is a book of signs. It's a book of ayat. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives his prophets ayat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he sent وَرَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا We sent Musa with our signs. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to read the signs. Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. To read. It wasn't simply just the reading of a book, but the book of signs which is in the universe as well. And natural disasters have always been a source of trouble. You see corruption uh, in unbelievable, unprecedented manners. Things that really we haven't seen at this level. And this is a global uh, phenomenon. It's happening all over the globe and it's something that should cause people of intelligence, it should cause them consternation, it should cause them trouble in their hearts because these are people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them that وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مُشْفِقُونَ مِنْهَا وَيَعْلَمُونَ أَنَّهَا الْحَقِّ That the people who believe are, are concerned about the signs of the hour the signs of the last days. They're concerned about it and they know that it's true from their Lord. The Prophet ﷺ in a hadith, which is one of the most extraordinary in terms of purely prophetic vision, is one of the most extraordinary hadiths that we have in the literature that Ibn Abi Shayba relates in which the Prophet ﷺ said, إِذَا رَأَيْتَ مَكَّةَ بُعِجَتْ كَضَائِمًا When you see Mecca, the Prophet ﷺ predicted that holes would be drilled through the mountains of Mecca and he says, وَيَعْلُوا بِنَا وَهَا رُؤُوسَ الْجِبَالِ فَقَدْ أَظَلَّتَ السَّعَةُ And you see the buildings of Mecca reaching the level of mountains. You see the buildings of Mecca reaching the levels of mountains. He said, know that the shade of the hour has encompassed the planet. And the believers, when they see these things, it concerns them. The Prophet said, لا تقوم الساعة حتى تزول الجبال عن أماكنها The end of time won't come until you see mountains removed from their places. When I was in Mecca, there's mountains have been removed from Mecca. قوعي قوعان One of the mountains that's known as the أحد الأخشبين When the angels came to the Prophet ﷺ and they asked him if he wanted to see the mountains, that they would يطبقهما على Quraysh. One of them was Abi Qubais and the other was Qua'i Qu'an. Qua'i Qu'an has been removed. It's gone. It's no longer there. The mountain is gone. A mountain that the Prophet ﷺ walked in its shade. A mountain that the Prophet ﷺ probably climbed as a boy. This mountain is now removed. The Prophet ﷺ said, لا تقوم الساعة حتى يتحارج الناس تحارج الحمير That the end of time won't come until people are like animals openly. I was on the Arabian Peninsula with my family, walking on the beach, and I came upon people in a public beach, having sexual intercourse, in a public beach on the Arabian Peninsula. With, I'm, I'm not making this up. This is the level of facade that is happening on our planet. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that one of the signs of the end of time is civilized people would walk with their thighs exposed in the marketplaces. Pins, he said, would be everywhere. He said that people out of their love of the world, you would get two income families. That people would be two income families. That he said, a woman will out hirsan out of dunya. Out of love for this world, she'll work like her husband to earn livelihood, neglecting the children. Some people are forced to do that. And there's no blame on that. But there's people that just out of love of dunya, they will abandon their children and go out. These are, these are the things that are happening around us. And these are things people have to wake up because this is a religion that calls people to wake up. What have we done that is causing this trouble? And this is something that was true of peoples all over the world. Whenever calamities confronted them, they would always ask themselves. These are people that are in touch with their fitra, with their inherent nature. They would ask themselves, what have we done? Things like eclipses, like volcanoes, like oil spewing out into the ocean should tell us, Ya Rabb, 
If Allah wanted, He could destroy all of the ocean. This foulness has re revealed itself in the oceans and on the land because of what your own hands have been doing, because of what you have been doing. You know, they had a National Geographic and there was a group of Mauritanian fishermen and they went out to fish and they didn't catch any fish. And so, you know what they said? It's our sins. And they went to the Murabit, to the teacher, and they told him, we went out, we used to go out and cast the net, now the fish are all gone. If you want the suburb, the material reason, it's because the Japanese, the Russians, the Americans, they're fishing those waters like crazy. But still, they understood. How does this relate to us? You can blame the other, but it's still, it's happening to you. And he told them to make Tawbah. This is on the, the documentary itself. He told them to make Tawbah, to ask Allah. And they did that. And then they went out, cast their nets, and fish came into the net. That's Fitra people. Those are people of Fitra. The United Nations announced that the fish are going. And this is Ibn Abbas in the tafsir of the verse, the Dahar al Fasadu in Surah al Rom, that the corruption has revealed itself in the land and on the sea. He said, In the sea, the diminishment of fish because of the sins of people. And this is something that human beings have now completely forgotten. We have spiritual Alzheimer's disease. That's what the humanity is suffering from, a type of spiritual Alzheimer's disease. We've forgotten who we are, who we belong to, where we've come from, where we're going, what we should be doing in the meantime. This is the state of humanity wherever you go.